Hello and welcome back to the Gorilla Biker and today what we're going to be talking about is something that I've been asked a lot about and it is of course if you've read the title of the video which I assume you have these Hepco and Becker Explorer 40 liter uh, side cases. Now as part of this review obviously I will also be talking about the mounting system um, because it's kind of integral you, you need both and but yeah let's first and foremost get into talking about these things. Quick little disclosure, um, these cases were supplied to me by Hepco and Becker um, through Moto Machines over here in America uh, for installation and testing purposes. Uh, they did supply both the rear rack carrier and the cases themselves. So I did not pay for these. Um, however, as always with this channel, uh, everything I say is 100% my own opinion. They didn't ask me to do anything other than make the video. So uh, cheers to them for that too. And one thing I feel I should mention, obviously straight off the bat, is I have completed a installation video for these. I'll leave a link there uh, for that. And I don't want to spend too much time on it because there is a full install video. Um, <clears throat> but the instructions from Hep going back were very good. Installation on this 2015 Suzuki V-Strom 1000 was very straightforward, very easy. Um, mounting the actual cases to the racking itself is also very easy, but really and truly, um, and this goes for the, the couple of other bits and pieces I have from Hep, Hep going Becker as well. Um, very easy to install. Uh, I've also gotten a rear rack for the Z900RS, which I paid for, and also um, a skid plate for the V-Strom, which I paid for as well. Uh, obviously, like I said at the start of the video, these side cases were sponsored. Um, but yeah, installation, like I said, very straightforward, very easy. Um, very solid, so I don't think we need to talk more about that. If you do want to see more on the installation, please do go watch the installation video. <laughs> like I said, there'll be a link here, and there'll also be a link in the description and maybe pinned comment if I remember to do so. So next what I want to talk about is the quality of these cases. I know you can't see me, you can just see disembodied hands, but that's because the cases are what's important here. Quality-wise, um, and to give a bit of background, I have so far done two longer trips with these guys, uh, both, both of which trips, it rained a lot. Um, and we're gonna talk about the seals and stuff in a second on these. But that's the trips portion, and then I've also used these uh, on a daily basis for work stuff and, and groceries and whatever else. And I have to say the quality of just about everything on here has impressed me. Um, the hinges are quite good. I don't know still how comfortable I'd be if this blew open in the wind, um, but as you can see, I'm bouncing that there, and so far it's been it's been pretty solid, even when I kind of flicked it open harder than I meant to. Um, other things then, the latch um, is very strong, and the mounting to the actual bike, I can move the entire bike with the actual mounting system that is on here. So from a quality perspective, I have to say I'm very, very pleased um, with the actual case itself. And, and that's not just from obviously a construction piece. And hold on, I'll try. I'm gonna grab this here. Just moving you with me now. I mean, from, from everything, like I said, the actual, everything about it, the handles are solid. The latches are very, very, very solid. Uh, we will talk about this in a second. And then also there's this gasket here, which I'm actually on the wrong side for the light now, but this gasket here, uh, it's rubber. Can you see that? Hopefully you can. But that's an actual replaceable rubber gasket. Um, whether or not it's meant to be replaceable from Hep Becker, you can see it there. It is nice and soft. And that seals down onto this groove uh, here the whole way around, which in the spots of rain uh, we have gotten on trips, um, it has kept all of the rain out of my clothes and everything else, which is very important when you're on a trip. Um, then size, other than this little plaster in there. Storage wise, um, the 40 liters are cavernous. Uh, genuine, you can fit a full helmet in here, which hold on and I'll actually grab my helmet to show you. So just so this isn't like an undersized helmet, we're walking over here. Grabbing my HJC with the Cardo thing that isn't forever falling out. The only thing you have to do putting a helmet in is you do have to pop off uh, your Cardo unit, which I think most people wouldn't mind. And then you pop that. 
And not only that, you still have space for other things. So I often leave my gloves and everything else uh, in there, <clears throat> which is uh, pretty amazing when you're going to work. Now, I know what people are gonna ask and does it make it like super wide? So hold on, I'll just turn the handlebars here. Stay there please, handlebars, for a moment. Um, it doesn't. Now, camera perspective makes them look closer than they are. Um, I will tell you, we'll actually measure it in a second. I'll, I'll grab a measuring tape in a sec, but these are slightly wider than the handlebars. If you go for the 36 liter option, or whatever the smaller option is, um, they are considerably narrower. So if you want to keep them the same width as your handlebar, I think that's probably the best way to do it. Um, personally, I am delighted with the 40 liter. I did ask for the 40 liter. They gave me the option of which one I wanted, um, and I wanted it for that storage. Now, I did get this with the inner bags. Uh, Hepco and Becker are also kind enough to send me the inner bags, and they were they have been a lifesaver on the longer trips. I, I don't use the inner bags on a day-to-day -day basis, but I do definitely use them on trips, and to be able to just pull my clothes in and out um, really is, it's, it's kind of, Fantastic, I, I can't lie. Now, other than, so basically what I'm saying is quality wise, um, these are genuinely excellent. Like fittings, finish, everything else. We will get to the rack in a second. The only thing I want to call out on the cases, quality wise, is this key here. Um, where are my keys? And there's my goose mug right there. I brought them out here specifically for this. So. The keys I find a little bit fiddly. So they're kind of mushy in there. It's quite a mushy key. And then even, actually this key is better. This is my spare key. Um, I don't know, I find them kind of awkward. I just don't think it's, no, there you go. So that's what sometimes happens. I don't think the key is the best. It's not the most robust key I've ever held. I do like that it's short and doesn't stay sticking out, say from here, um, but I think these guys, particularly the key, could be a little bit more um, solid, for sure. But that said, I think overall, uh, the side cases get a massive thumbs up for me from a quality uh, perspective. They're really, 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 really solid. Um, and yeah, that's so the only downside, like I said, is, is the key. I've already like slightly bent one key, which I think happened in my pocket. So key and lock wise, we'll give it like a, a here but the actual side cases themselves, which honestly I, I don't lock most of the time because when I'm not leaving the bike, you don't need to. Um, and I really love that latch. <laughs> it's actually a very satisfying latch to just use. Um, and like I've said in, a, in another video, I really like the hinge that it opens that way because uh, you can kind of lie stuff across here while you're unpacking, which I, it seems small, but it is very helpful. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of, all of that kind of explained. Um, and I think they absolutely look great, by the way. I didn't mention that, but uh, as you can see, I have not uh, cleaned these cases since I last rode. And um, I think they look absolutely fantastic on uh, this bike anyway. Then just to cover off the um, dismounting of these, you want to go to your latch here. You want to open said latch, pop the handle, unlatch your kind of locking hook and just slide it out and away. And that's the side case itself dismounted. This is something I did want to discuss, the racks. Now I have had racks previously on my CBF 1000 and this exact same thing happened. As you can see, so this is about, I think 4,000 miles worth of use. And you can see there's a little bit of scuffing along here already. Now. I clean these after every trip, but you can see just where the case mounts to it, it is kind of scuffing through. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch these up um, very soon, but this is something I just really wanted to point out to everyone, uh, that they do scuff up relatively quickly. Like I said, 4,000 miles in kind of dirty, dusty conditions, I'm not surprised um, they scuffed up particularly as I was on some rougher roads and whatnot. But from an actual fitment perspective, I did Loctite all these bolts, um, but this rack, like, I feel like you could pick the bike up from these racks. Um, the rack, really, really solid. So gen generally overall, no concerns. Um, just like I said, that scuffing 
is, I mean, it's not, it's not ideal. That's actually not bad there. The worst is probably just here and, and up here a little bit. Um, not a deal breaker for me, most certainly not. I can touch that up, um, but just, I know some people like to, to get all of the nitty gritty details. So like I said, from a quality perspective, side cases, phenomenal in my opinion. Uh, key can be a little bit fiddly. Side racks, phenomenal, like genuinely super impressed with these. I've accidentally shin kicked these bags several times getting on and off the bike. I weigh a considerable amount and uh, have had no issues whatsoever. So that brings to a close the, the quality aspect uh, of these. And like I said, honestly, if I could give them a rating, well, I suppose I can give them a rating, can't I? Um, I would have to say a solid nine, 9.5 um, out of 10. Not perfect, especially I know, like I said, I know some people really would be, be bothered by that light scuffing. Um, not something that particularly concerns me um, because I've used this bike and obviously I could have taken steps to alleviate that by riding in cleaner areas with, with less dust and dirt, but there's no fun in that, so I didn't. Um, I think rugged enough for, for everyday use, rugged enough for touring use, rugged enough for bad weather, for sure. And I have had them loaded up to the gills, like I've had the right case loaded up generally, that's what carries my clothes on trips, uh, or my laptop in and out to work. And the left hand side then is uh, generally the camera gear on trips and uh, groceries or whatever else I'm bringing on, on uh, other days that don't include trips, which unfortunately are too many days. I'd love to do way more trips. Now, the alligator in the fish pond, the price. I know some people are gonna obviously ask about the price, which is fair enough. Um, something I wanna talk about like upfront is obviously, right now in the global economy, not many people have a lot of spare money. Um, so I do want to, to be upfront about this. Obviously this is a luxury for most. This is my kind of car. Um, I would have paid for side cases and we'll get to which side cases I personally would buy with my own money at the end of the video because I did a lot of research um, before these came into my paws. But the price, I'll put the price that they currently are on screen now, but I know when I looked into it, you're, you're gonna be paying for the cases and the side racks, what I was going to buy them, um, about around 1300 delivered uh, total for the 40 liter cases. There's not a huge difference between the slightly smaller cases and these ones, which obviously is a lot of money. And I do not want to, uh, you know, act like it's not, because it, it, it is, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot of money. However, um, and this is one thing that did play into my decision that we'll talk about later, originally, um, the compatibility that Hepco and Becker offer is if you look up, I can get a rear rack that accommodates these bags for the Z900 RS. I can get a rear rack that accommodates the Honda CB750, which is from 1997. I obviously can get one for the, the V-Strong. A new project bike that will be here very soon that is also old, I can get a rear rack to accommodate them. And that is one thing that I will say is, yes, you pay for your, your side case mounts that are solid, as I've shown you, um, however, the bags you can take with you. So I do think it's a, it's a, an investment. I know it's not an investment. They're they're obviously not a something that's going to gain value over time. However, from a usability perspective, something that you want to use every day and you want to travel with, I think they are a good investment. They have protected my equipment. They have protected my clothes. They're lockable and they're solid. So. To me, the price point, and like I said, we'll talk about that at the very end of the video where I go through all the other boxes I did look at. I think these are a fantastic, um, fantastic option, uh, despite the price being expensive. Do not want to gloss that over. They are pricey, but so are all uh, kind of hard lockable cases of, of this style. And actually these are these are one of the better priced uh, units that are out there. But like I said, we'll get to that in a sec. Next, I wanna just talk really quick about using them on trips and usability day to day. Um, obviously these cases are massive. The 40 liter cases, are, 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 are they're a big, big side case. However, the mounting system that Hepco and Becker came up with for this bike, I am super happy with because the mounting system itself is really narrow. 
excuse me, um, which allows you to basically use all that space that some other systems don't offer you. Some other systems step out off the bike. Um, I think it's just because it's easier to kind of make things more bolt onto a generic frame that they make. Or the, the, um, the passenger foot peg mount for these, plus the upper adapter plate, which the actual rack is so well thought out because it keeps everything really, really neat and narrow to the bike. Um, we were recently comparing with Volts's Pan America and he has Jivy boxes on there. And the Jivy boxes are much narrower. So if you just take it from a box profile, his box is way narrower. However, his frames stand much further out off the bike. So in reality, he has less usable space in his boxes, but his frames plus boxes take up around about the same space. So from a usability perspective, I didn't lose anything with wise However, I gained a lot in the storage capacity of the boxes. And I mean, like I said, if you're like me and you use your bike for everything, uh, trips, going to the grocery store, uh, store shop. I'm gonna call it a shop. It's not a store, it's a shop. Too many American words, boy. I forgot what I was talking about. Mm, yeah. It'll come back to me in a second. Usability, yes. Um, Usability of these boxes, phenomenal. Like I can fit so much stuff in them. Um, I have ignored both the weight and speed warning and have had no ill effects, but maybe that contributed to the scuffing on the frame. I don't know. Uh, I don't think anyone really listens to those warnings anyway. <laughs> um, but they have remained solid and very usable. Trips, I lo like honestly, two, three, four nights. I don't think I need anything other than these cases. I can fit all of my clothes that I might need in the right hand case and then spare set of shoes, cameras, and all the crap that most people don't need to carry uh, into the left hand case. It's just me because I like to make videos. I have to fit that in there. So usability for me, huge, huge plus point. If you wanted something that was narrow enough to still filter in traffic that was the same width as your handlebars, just get the smaller capacity case and then you have that. Or if like me, you live in a country that is insane and doesn't let people filter in lane split, in most states and um, you can get the bigger cases because you're not really losing anything anyway and to be honest where i live i oh, pretty much i never need to filter anyway because I, I i would do it i wouldn't i wouldn't sit in traffic because that's lunacy uh, but there is pretty much never traffic where i am so um yeah wider cases narrower frames big thumbs up i think that is the design to go for on bikes you don't want to take up all your width with the frame, you want to use that width up with usable storage. And I think um, Hepco and Becker definitely managed to do that on these cases. So to have a little sit down summary, the good, the bad, the ugly. Um, like I said previously, I had built a little list, a little, little list. And what I had been doing is comparing all of my options between uh, Jivy, SW Motec, um, I can't remember the name of the other brand, Bumat, um, and obviously Hepco and Becker. And Hepco and Becker stood out to me, like I said, number one, because they were actually one of the cheapest. Bumat were slightly more expensive. One second. Sorry, I thought I saw a bug that needed killing. It wasn't a bug, it was my imagination. Um, Bumat were slightly more expensive. SW Motec, uh, up until recently, were 2,500 uh, for their inner bag and uh, rear, rear stuff assembly. I think that did include the top box, I can't remember. I think that's down to 1800 now, which is a better deal. Um, but honestly, from the cross compatibility between different motorcycles, the fact that I, I actually bought the rear rack and skid plate to kind of test Hep going backer, because I'd never used the products before. Uh, so I wanted to see, you know, the, the level of quality before I invested and I was really impressed. So I was actually gonna buy these anyway, and that's the truth, 100%. Um, you can ask the patrons, we'd spoken about it in, in, in the patron box um, <laughs> discord. <laughs> but um, I had already made the decision to buy these based off the quality of the other products I got and the overall price, plus the fact that they had that narrow rack, which I think is a massive, massive consideration for me. Um, so to summarize, if somebody stole these tomorrow and took the racks off my bike and I was left over with the savings I had, to buy panniers, what would I do? I would just buy these again, um, 100%. No doubt in my mind, 
super impressed with them. No leaks, um, they haven't fallen off despite any weight and speed I've thrown at them. Uh, they've never gotten in the way in my day-to-day -day activities or my trips. Uh, the storage capacity is phenomenal. I absolutely love it, it is so handy. Um, I love the aesthetic, I love how they look. Um, I, think, I think they did a great job uh, making these kind of blend into a, an ADV style bike. I do need to clean mine, which you can't actually see because I'm blocking the light, so that's good. But they, I think these look great with the X uh, on the side, which I assume is for Explorer. Um, yeah, really impressed, really impressed. So, I mean, thank you to Hepcorn Becker massively. Uh, for supplying these for me over the last uh, few months. I've really enjoyed using them, made a massive difference to my trips. Um, massive thank you to all of you guys who, who have supported and shown an interest in these and asked questions about them. I really do appreciate it. Do not forget to have a look at the installation video, uh, please. I, I enjoyed making that and I thought I did a, a decent job portraying uh, how easy they are to get onto a bike. You really don't need that many tools. It is pretty straightforward and then you can enjoy these like I am. Um, in and out to work every day or whatever else you choose to use them for. So that's it. Would I recommend these? Yes, they get my thumbs up recommendation. Um, absolutely. I don't think you'd be disappointed uh, if you were to get them, especially from a quality perspective, which at the end of the day, if you are making an investment uh, like these type of bags, you wanna make sure they're gonna last and they're solid um, because it's, it's expensive. For 98% of the population, myself included, it is a massive, massive investment. Um, so something that I would can, I would recommend it to my closest friends and family members. So I can't, I can't put it any other way than that. I think this, if you're looking for side cases that are to last few years, these are a good investment, hundred uh, percent. And yeah, that's it. If you watch, thank you very much for watching. Again, thank you very much to Hepcorn Becker for uh, let, letting me do this. Thank you to all of my patrons for the support, talking about taking this project on um, and just in general you're all you're all great and I do appreciate y'all and yeah if you have any questions at all on the boxes uh, or the side cases please do leave it in the leave it leave them in the comments below uh, and I will get back to you and yeah let me know what your thoughts are um, I think highlights for me is definitely that rubber gasket really really impressed it's not just like a, a plastic you know fold over seal that you hope keeps the water out it's an actual a compression rubber gasket that, that will keep water out and, ha and has kept water out. I mean, I rode through plenty of rain, unfortunately. <laughs> they haven't failed me yet. Um, and yeah, that's it. Thanks again for watching. Uh, hopefully you found this informative and, and useful. Adios. Outro crew. Do you often see imaginary bugs crawling around your garage when you're filming at night and you have super bright LEDs shining right in your eyes and probably making you go blind. Does that happen to you too? Yeah, let me know. Also, let me know, would you have gotten the black color or the two-tone black and uh, like uh, aluminum color, silver color, I suppose? Yeah, let me know. And yeah, I just did a track down the Z900RS, so I need to talk to you about that too, I suppose. And it was awesome. I didn't take any video though, I'm sorry. I got too excited, I had lots of friends there and I just kind of enjoyed the day with them, but there are photos, so I'll show you photos soon. And we're gonna make a video and talk about the track day because it was fantastic. And I'll definitely go, be going back to uh, NC car. Yeah. Bye, truck crew.